Let's implement this smooth scrolling logo animation using HTML and Tailwind CSS, ideal for showcasing client logos or partners on your website. Start with a mockup in Figma containing SVGs of the logos you want to animate. Run the Builder.io Figma to Code plugin, select your design, and click the Generate Code button. Within a few seconds, our design gets imported into Builder, and the initial HTML and Tailwind CSS code is generated. Copy this code from the Quality tab into the Tailwind CSS playground. Let's customize the code. Simplify the div class attribute to flex space x16 to eliminate unnecessary wrapping and alignment styles. Simplify the image class attribute to max width none for each image element. Next, let's implement the scrolling animation. We just have to shift the div element leftward from 0 to minus 100%. Tailwind CSS does not come with this exact animation pre configured. So we will need to set it up manually within our Tailwind config file. To extend the list of Tailwind animations, we update theme.extend.animation. To add new animation keyframes, update theme.extend.keyframes. The animation name is loop scroll. It is assigned a duration of 50 seconds, a linear timing function, meaning it progresses at a constant speed, and it is said to run infinitely, which means it will keep looping without stopping. Back in the HTML tab in the playground, specify the class animate loop scroll on the div element. When you take a look at the UI, the animation will appear to operate flawlessly. But there is a slight problem. The div element abruptly resets to the starting position after completing its movement creating a jarring effect instead of a continuous loop. To ensure seamless scrolling, we're going to implement a neat trick. By duplicating the div element and positioning it directly behind the original, we can create the illusion of a never-ending animation. We will enclose the two lists in a wrapping div element and position them next to each other using Flexbox. We will also add the aria hidden attribute on the second list to hide from screen readers. The animation is now seamless and never ending. For an interactive touch, let's make the animation pause when a user hovers over it. Create a custom utility class called paused, where we pause the animation. To apply styles to an element that are dependent on the state of a parent element, you can use the group class on the parent. Then you can take advantage of the group modifiers, such as group hover, to fine tune the styling of the child element. In our example, assign the group class to the outer div element, and for each inner div element, enhance it with the group hover paused class to pause the animation on hover. Implementing dynamic elements, such as animations on a website, can cause discomfort for certain individuals. Use the motion reduce modifier to conditionally add styles when the user has requested reduced motion. But this is how you create a scrolling logo animation with HTML and Tailwind CSS.